well 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 it's me again it's me again good morning again you know as I ended the previous uh, video um, I was talking about Mother's Day I, I pretty much was sending out greetings uh, to mothers and all of that and was saying hello to a few persons when the you know the Wi-Fi just went well you know when you're outside anything is possible but right now I am back in my in my zone <laughs> by the dock of where I live and as I was ending that video even though it, it ended somewhat abruptly uh, you know the Lord just impressed upon my heart to pray for some people pray for some mothers because yesterday was not a good day for them it was not a good day for them uh, some of them the 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 reasons vary but some of them do not even know where their children are and that hurt them they do not know where their children are some their children were taken from them you know you have these situations sometimes where you have uh, shared custody or some arrangement like that and you know the other party sometimes get the upper hand because they have or seem to have more to offer than the mom and there are some some mothers who did not have a good day because you know they are being disrespected and ill-treated by their own children and I'm not talking about uh, little children being you know uh, a little bit out of line I'm talking about grown children it doesn't matter how old we get uh, <laughs> our, our parents still remain our parents and some of them did not have a good day because like I said they're being ill-treated by their children these are children who they cared for who they love dearly and basically the the children are not reciprocating at all as a matter of fact there are even some extreme conditions where the the children they're just waiting for the parent you know the mom to pass on so that they could get whatever it is that they believe that they have for them and you know these are really heartbreaking situations that the Lord is revealing this morning there are there are a lot more but in these areas where the children are not with you know their mothers that arrangement is not there so they're heartbroken some of them do not know where their children are and then there are those who are being disrespected by their grown children and you know the Lord has just impressed it upon my heart to pray for these mothers today because while it's good and well for the rest of us who are not um, having those particular struggles to go along with our lives there are mothers who are hurting today as a matter of fact there are mothers um, even right here in the BVI who have lost you know their children through tragic circumstances uh, some through you know illness some through sudden death and these things are these things are hard they're hard you know we have a saying who feels it knows and until we have been there sometimes we have no idea what these people have to go through so this morning if you would just help me pray you know for those mothers and also um, while we we do this prayer uh, for those of you who are in the BVI let us remember all the people that uh, are connected to us here who are away in hospitals you know because of accidents and incidents that have them you know <laughs> in hospitals right now and uh, I could even call names but the Lord knows and let us just remember them let us remember our friends let us remember the people whom you know the families have asked us to 
pray for uh, as they lie on their hospital bed so let's just pray lord we give you thanks this morning we praise your name we we bless your name lord we thank you that you're the one that instituted families and in order for us to have families lord you blessed women you blessed women with the ability to have children mighty god and today there are some mothers who are hurting really really badly and lord we ask you right now to send comfort their way we ask you lord to touch their lives there are some who do not know where their children are some of them had their children taken away from them and lord today we just ask you to comfort their hearts there is nothing like the pain of a mother who is unable to to hug her children to love on her children and today lord we ask you to send comfort lord even those mothers who are being ill-treated oh god by their grown children we we ask you to 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 intervene in those situations right now mighty god because your word declares that we should honor our parents lord help us to understand that it doesn't matter how grown we have become our parents still deserve to be honored they still deserve to be loved and they still deserve respect so lord i ask you to speak to the hearts of those children right now who are putting their mothers especially through heartaches and pains lord i ask you to touch those situations in a real and personal way give children an encounter with you lord that they will know and they will understand what the proper conduct should be regarding their parents regarding especially their mothers so lord i i break that that force that that tells children that tells adult children that it's okay to disrespect their parents lord we ask for peace in the homes peace in the homes where there is none peace in the homes where there seems to be all this uh, fighting infighting and division and disunity lord and we pray for your peace right now to cover these homes lord we thank you that even after today some mother will know where their children are some mother will find out they will get information about their children lord i ask you to bring these families bring them together lord in a supernatural way because only you can do these things mighty god so i thank you right now that even the adult children will turn completely around and start loving their parents start loving their mothers start treating them with the honor that they deserve start treating them with respect start treating them with dignity mighty God because this is right Lord help some children to understand that when you ask us to honor our parents Lord it is it is a, a commandment it's not a suggestion it is a commandment and it comes with a promise that our days would be long on the earth Lord do not let any child be cut off as a result of dishonoring their parents help us oh lord to take your word to heart help us to believe it and to do it mighty god so today we're asking you for peace peace to a mother peace to a woman a woman who is crying out and saying why me peace to that woman oh god where every year that mother's day rolls around they are sad they're sad because some of them their children have passed on their children have died their children are no longer there and it has left a void in their hearts mighty god so we ask you again lord to comfort send comfort send peace their way even today lord so that they can rise up and continue to be the great mothers that you have called them to be they can rise up and become the great women of god that you have called them to be and even those who are not saved those who are not saved those who do not know you as lord and savior we ask you right now lord to draw them by your spirit draw them to you lord because the days are evil lord let not our mothers stay out in the world believing that they have time 
time is not on our side. So Lord, I ask you to let your Holy Spirit draw them and help us, O oh God, who know you, to move with urgency, urgency, to win these people into the kingdom. Lord, not even just the mothers today, but anyone who does not know you as Lord and Savior. Help us not to forget our mandate. Help us not to forget that you have put us here, O oh God, to witness and to win people into your kingdom because the days are evil, they are perilous. So Lord, I thank you today for the opportunity just to be able to say a word on behalf of these people. Also remember, Lord, those who are stuck in hospital beds away, abroad, those who are in Florida, those who are all over, those from the BVI, oh God, who met in accidents abroad and they are now in hospital beds. Lord, I pray that you will raise them up for your glory. Raise them up, Lord. You know them. You know each of them by name. You know exactly where they are. You know the struggles that the families are having oh God how how weary some of them must be maintaining that vigil by the bedside so Lord I ask you right now to strengthen them strengthen the families oh God provide financial assistance Lord we know that hospital bills are not easy but provide that assistance Lord that they may even need and cause things to go in a way that is not burdensome for them and help families and friends just to rally around them at this time because, Lord, it could have been any one of us but for your grace. So, Lord, we thank you today that you're sending healing, you're sending wholeness to those hospital beds right now. And we're saying to those people, rise up in the name of Jesus. Rise up and walk in the name of Jesus. So, Lord, we thank you right now that you have the power to raise them up. The power does not reside in any of us, Lord, but we trust you. And we know your word and we speak life over them that they will live and not die. They will live and not die. They will rise up and become citizens for you, O oh God, and do your work and do exploits for you in the name of Jesus. They will not stay on that hospital bed and languish away. That will not be their portion. They will rise up. You will make them whole, Lord, and they will live. So, Lord, I thank you today for moving mightily in our midst. Give these people testimonies, Lord. Let them come back with a praise on their lips. And the people will know that surely you are God. Because, Lord, it is all for your glory. Do it for your glory. Mighty God, we thank you today. You're awesome. Lord, we thank you for your presence that resides with us. Lord, help us not to take it for granted. You have given us so much. Lord, help us not to take your grace and your mercy for granted. Those of us who are up walking around, Lord, who seem, some seem not to have a care in the world, Lord, we ask you right now just to help us not to be selfish, but to remember those who may be going through. So, Lord, thank you today. Thank you for making a difference in the lives of your people, Lord. We cry out to you and we say, thank you, God. Thank you for your goodness, Lord. Continue to touch our lives and infuse us, Lord, with your goodness. Infuse us with your spirit so that we can act right. We will walk right. We will talk right. We will live right because it's all for your glory, mighty God. So I thank you today, even over these British Virgin Islands, Lord. We bring the people to you, the people of this nation, those who are called by your name, Lord. I ask you to cause us to rise up, rise up with boldness, rise up, O oh God, and do those things that you have commissioned us to do. Help us not to be afraid. Help us not to be afraid to turn this nation back to you, Lord, so that we can see your glory in this place. Lord, there are many things that trouble us at this time, but help us, Lord, just to rely on you, to rely on you, to turn ourselves and our affairs over to you, Lord, and you will help us. So, Lord, I thank you today. Thank you for your goodness, your grace, your mercy, mighty God. We cannot thank you enough. We cannot thank you enough. So, Lord, I give you praise today because your name deserves to be honored and glorified, Lord. 
I will never cease to give you praise because you're a good, good father. So Lord, thank you today. Thank you even for my friends, Lord, who have joined us today just to say this prayer with us and to believe, Lord, that you are turning things around in our lives for your glory. So Lord, I thank you today. And anything, oh God, that I have omitted to mention this morning, which are many, Lord, you cover it in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray this morning. Amen. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. I'm telling you, it is just a wonderful thing to walk with God. It's, a, it's just marvelous when you know that you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that God is there and he is for you. It's a wonderful thing. Not just a feeling, it's a knowing right that you have the all-powerful being of the entire universe on your side nothing beats that so my constant invitation is to those who do not know God to get to know him now you hear people talking about him all the time you hear a lot of testimonies and you're saying to yourself how is it that these people are saying these things and I don't have a clue what they're talking about because those things don't happen to me but I'm telling you if you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ watch him turn your lives around no it's not that everything is gonna be smooth because you gave your life to Christ not at all but you will have joy you will have peace you will have peace that the world did not give cannot give and the world cannot take away and that is the the advantage that Christians have it's not like you know we're better than anybody else it's just that our solutions are different we have the Lord on our side whom we can call upon when we need him and that's what makes the difference for us that's what makes the difference it's not that we're better than anybody else but the Lord is on our side all right so i'm just making this appeal if you do not know the lord now is the time now is the acceptable time now is the time you know find yourself at a bible believing church one where the spirit of god is moving that the spirit of god is doing marvelous works right because it's all about his spirit and what he's doing in the earth right now right join up with somebody somebody ask questions and say who is this Jesus that you all are talking about some of us you know some people grew up in church but as they grew up they just kind of drifted away but the Lord is saying come back come back come back to me he's saying it to us as individuals and he's saying it to us even as nations because the Lord wants to do mighty things among us all right so good to see you all and you know just continue to pray for us those of you who continue to join me in the mornings Kelly yes Kelly I see you <laughs> Kelly if you look at the previous video you will hear the chickens that you love to hear so much uh, because I was in the park morning sister Jacqueline sister Jacqueline Richardson all the way in Georgia thank you so much for joining us and thank you woman of God for praying for us here in the BVI thank you Thank you for your ministry to these islands and to this part of the world. Sister Norma, Norma McDowell, you're right there in Orlando. Yes, I see you. <laughs> God bless you. And I'm seeing Stefik. Hi, Stefik. How you do it? You know, people just join in from all over the world. And this is the thing about technology. You know, we can reach the world. And it, it is a positive thing. You know, some people don't like Facebook and that's all right. But it's a positive thing if we can use it for the glory of God. All right. So God bless you today. I need to get to my, my job now. <laughs> you know, enough with the, um, the morning walk and all that good stuff. But God is good and I, I cannot cease but to give him praise when I get up in the mornings and take that walk and, you know, take in the fresh air and know that God is good every single day it doesn't matter what the circumstances I give God praise because guess what it could have been worse
all right it doesn't matter what the situation is if we consider it to be bad it could have been worse but god all right so let's continue to just praise him lift him up magnify his name because he is a good good father so god bless you today and we will catch up again another time hi tashira you got in just in time from orlando tashia mayors god bless you today and have a good day